1-1 pitch is a swing and a hot shot out towards second. Two and knee is Xavier Edwards. He picks himself up, throws a dart to first. There's two away. That's a slick fielding glove out there at second base. The newcomer, Xavier Edwards. That was a real nice play by Edwards because that ball was hit very hard. 1-1 pitch is hit on the ground to third, could be two. Barry to Edwards, two Troy Johnston. And it's an around the horn, inning ending double play that goes 5-4-3. Playing two and a half hour ball games. That's pretty much what it all boils down to. 1-1 pitch to Xavier Edwards is hit on the ground and through the right side to base hit. And Carnacion slammed on the brakes after he took a wide turn. A good deal for the fish. Hard hit ground ball out to second. Come on, baby. That is pretty. 4-6-3 double play. Ends the bottom of the seven. That's some nifty glove work out there up the middle by Edwards and Nunez. One, one. Ground ball up the middle to his right. Edwards on the backhand has it. Good throw to first. Xavier Edwards flashing a little leather out there at second base for the bottom. About six years older than him, followed along and played tennis himself. Here's a ball in the air, shallow left field that'll drop in for a leadoff single here at the top of the ninth inning for Xavier Edwards. Works out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. Edwards swings, lines the ball down the left field line. That's down for a base hit. Flying around second, headed towards third as Amaya. Throw comes in, the way down to second. The pitch swung on and hit on the ground to third. Backing up Hinojosa, the throw to second, throw to first is in time a double play. That goes around the horn, 5-4-3. Hoeing rolls a couple of double plays. Side. Open stance, knees bent, Chirino's first base side, first pitch, lasered behind second, picked up on one hop by the shortstop Gray, his throw to first, bounces over the glove of the first baseman Manzarno, and bounds into the first base dugout. And so Edwards on first to lead off the bottom of the first, and likely is a 1-0. Sharp round ball to second, Edwards has shuffled to his left field, throws to first, side retired, it's Bradley. Right-hander Bradley, one of the most talented pitchers in the minors. Edwards, really talented infielder and now outfielder. Here's the first pitch. Bradley, first base side. Fastball line to left. That's a base hit. That's the sixth game out of six this year that Jacksonville has had the leadoff man on to start their first at bat. It's the fifth time out of those six games they have swung at the first pitch. So Edwards lasering one into left field. And up comes C.J. Hinojosa, right-hand batter. Jordan Groshans, the third baseman, hits third. Austin Allen, 1-1. One, one. Chopper on the ground, the second. Two high skips to Edwards. Backhand's chest high. Second. Edwards, 1-1 one one here, the pitch. He bunts it down the third baseline. Charging in Mead, bare hands it left of the mound. And guess what? Another leadoff man is on to start the ball game. His swing in the minor leagues and pretty good. First pitch to Edwards, squares the bunt. Straight down, up high. Picked up by the third baseman, Mead. Throw to first is late. IQ, he is so smart. That bunt went straight down, but ricocheted at least 25 feet in the air. It fell three feet. Embry looks at second, 1 0. Liner in the right, it's a base hit. Bangham heading to third, gets the stop sign. A good throw from the right fielder, Cardenas, all the way in, and Jacksonville is first and third. No number. A lot of these guys are returners, but. Those two guys really stuck out. 3-2 once more. Ground ball towards the hole and threw it on the right side for a base hit. Edwards on for the second time. One out single, that'll bring up the switch hitting Mango to come in from the left side. Two to one man to bat. It's nice to see the Jumbo Shrimp offense doing what the Durham Bulls offense has done most of the series. Nice last night, a really in any Good start to the year for the Knights. So Jacksonville plays next, the 0-1. Liner down the line and right, fair ball rolling all the way to the wall. Dagoni around third comes in, Chavez stops at third, 
It's an RBI double for Edwards, and it's 6-1 Jacksonville. There goes Edwards, pitch a ball outside, the throw is high. Safe at second with a stolen base will be Xavier Edwards. That's his third. He's not been thrown out this season. Nice catch by the throw is high, and that was a good jump by Edwards at first base. Line drive, it's going to be caught, throw to first, and that is a double play. The second base pitch is swinging a ground ball left side of the infield. It's going to be backhanded by Remillard. Throw to first is going to be not in time. 1 2 is lined out to right field for a hit. He'll drop in there. Third hit today for Edwards, his last three at bats. Pitch to the lefty Edwards. He checks his swing and grounds one to third. Rivera's got it. The throw, not in time. Edwards just too fast. He beat the throw. It was a clean scoop up of third by Laz. He made the throw across in what he thought was in time, but. It was a bang bang play, and they say Edwards beat the throw. Looked like he beat it from here, but it was very close. With Triple A Rochester in this league. Here's the one two. Line shot in the air to left center field. Well struck. Long run for the center fielder Harrison. He can't reach it. It splits the gap, rolls to the wall. Edwards around second, speeds to third, slides in feet first. It's a one out triple. And the go-ahead run 90 feet away in a scoreless sixth inning. So Harrison was shaded to the pull side of Edwards. And Jacksonville a chance to push across the first run of this game. And Nashville will bring the infield in on the corners. And now in the, in the middle. Jackson. Base batting fifth, the 1-1. One, one. Bunted down near the mound. Hauser barehands, wild throw to first, sails all the way down the right field. 1-1 one, one, and Edwards swings, lifts a line drive out to left, that's down for a base hit. LeBlanc had to hold at second. The 2-1, there he goes, fastball misses outside, skips to the backstop, under the glove of Hicks. With Xavier Edwards moving. Swing by machine, ground ball to Edwards. Edwards flips to Amaya at second for one. On to first and a double play. Four, six, three, and Will Stewart works into and out of trouble. Three consecutive base hits and no problem. An infield fly followed by a pitcher's best friend. An inning ending double play brings us to the... Liner in the center, Edwards coming in, still coming, slides! Makes the catch. Heroes back to first. What a play. Xavier Edwards with a second out here at the fifth. Well, when he was rung up on strike three, he was the number one on most prospect lists at the time. Right now the second baseman. Zwick first base side, first pitch. Line shot over a leaping third baseman. Wilson down the left field line, base hit. Edwards takes the turn at first, goes about a third of the way to second, but a leadoff single here in the bottom of the first. Our place left, Simone Muziati in center, Dustin Peterson in right. Runners go, the pitch, fastball inside, Toto's down to second, it kicks off Miller in the left field. Edwards sprinting home from third, the throw goes to third, it's offline, and it's one nothing Jacksonville. What a way to start, four pitches in, a single. Gianni chops one to short, could be two. Amaya field to high hop, goes to second one. Edwards rifles to first, double play. Six, four. One, one to Edwards, and he swings, rips a line drive, just out of the reach of a diving Weston Wilson at third. To his right, and Edwards keeps the inning alive with a single. That'll bring up Ryan Miller. Now it's Brian Miller who's three for four today with three singles. He's got two swiped bags and he scored two runs. It's out of the rubber. Three quarters slinging and a fastball and Edwards bangs it to right for a base hit. 
So another first pitch single for Edwards. I believe that's right now, picking up some of that slack for Sanchez. And might be asked to do more of that with Avi Garcia on the IL. That one fouled back one and two. So that is Xavier Edwards. Recall from Triple A Jacksonville where he was putting together a really good start to the season. 306 average, 427 on base, seven stolen bases. One of the Marlins top prospects in acquisition in the offseason. Originally drafted by the Padres, then traded to the Rays, and then here. But out of North Broward Prep in Coconut Creek. You know, it's, it's good news, bad news. You hate to see Avi go on the IL, but great to see someone getting called up who's having some success, uh, which Xavier Edwards was. He'll play probably a little second base, a little center field. We'll see how it all shakes out as they check on Horizon first. I was on the bus on the way from the Memphis airport to the hotel. And uh, I just happened to be sitting with Brownie on the bus in the front row. And uh, we were messing around a little bit, and then he ended up telling me on the back end of the ride. So that's how I found out. Pretty, pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, I honestly thought it was kind of a joke because I was sitting up there with him as a joke. Uh, and then he kind of put his arm around me and told me, and it was, it was definitely a moment I'll never forget. Family will be here, immediate family. Uh, my girlfriend will be here. Uh, a good amount of family friends because it's only an hour down the road. Um, but I'll have to see once the game's over. I don't really know the total. Not yet. They haven't told me anything. But yes, I have seen some center field in Jacksonville. It's been pretty good. Uh, I like it out there. It's pretty fun. Um, just another tool in the shed, right? So definitely good. Staying aggressive. Um, staying with the small ball. Um, not being afraid to use the butt. Um, getting on base. Trying to get on base as much as I can. Taking the walks when I get them. So just trying to keep compounding. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would say I got away from it last year. And uh, I've been doing all the work I could to get back to that, being that kind of player, that exciting player to watch. Uh, he scouts the best. It's my dog, Oak. I just had him in Jacksonville, good guy. <laughs> He's creeping up the list slowly but surely. A double. And now the major league debut of Xavier Edwards. The Marlins' top prospects. They went out and got him from the Tampa Bay Rays this offseason. Swing and a miss. Really good numbers for him at AAA to start the 2023 campaign out of Wellington, Florida, North Broward Prep in Coconut Creek. Now he's a switch hitter. Versatile player. And this one toward left center. It's going to hang up for Rosario. And the Major League veteran, Xavier Edwards, is 0 for 1. Now, congratulations. Absolutely. Boy, you get that first one out of the way. Like the 33 year old with the Pirates. Drew Maggi. Yeah. Last week. After 13 years. How the Marlins needed to uh, turn the page on yesterday. Well, first, there's the first and big league hit go. for Xavier Edwards. Takes a big turnaround first base. And in his second big league game, his first major league hit. Congratulations. Hey, uh, quite a ways from North Broward Prep. Just a, a, a fun guy to watch. We saw him a little bit in spring training. Very athletic. Has, uh, has terrific speed. He's a switch hitter. Steps up there right-handed. Doesn't waste any time. And picks up that first major league hit. Hey, he's hitting 500. Charles LeBlanc in left field third. Here are Encarnacion in the cleanup spot. Pitch is chopped through the hole. Right side, base hit. So Edwards a leadoff single, and that'll bring up the right-hand batting Hinojosa. Jordan Groshans hits fifth and plays third base. Lefty in the 1-1. And he swings, hits a hot shot on the ground, back up the middle and through to center field. Very good game for Xavier Edwards. He's two for three. That's it, the 2-1. Line shot in the left field. That'll get down for a base hit. Edwards on for the fourth time. It's a leadoff single here in the ninth. Got a hint on that one. The 1-0. -oh. Ground ball up the middle. Behind second. Sliding back in by Norby. Throws from his knees. Not in time. Infield single. Two out base runner for Jacksonville. Leading by a pair. 
The one one. Line shot over shortstop into left center. Base hit. Edwards sprinting around first, digging for second. Ball cut off by Cameron on the warning track. It's a leadoff double. Going to bring up Jake Mango. So Edwards, the second baseman first. Mangum in center, bat second. Charles LeBlanc, first baseman, it's third. Here are Encarnacion in the cleanup spot in right field. Jordan Groshans, the DH fifth. Brian Miller in left field, bat sixth. 31. Back to the ballpark for more Jumbo Shrimp Baseball. Home half of the fifth inning, it's 12 to seven. Norfolk in front of Jacksonville. And it's the top of the order for the Jumbo Shrimp. Xavier Edwards leads things off. Right hand throwing Garrett back on the mound. Here's the pitch. It's bunted third base side. Garrett off the mound, lets it roll, and it comes to a stop. Dan about halfway down the line. Bunt single. And Jacksonville has the leadoff man on here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Interesting that he wanted to watch it roll foul. And, and I understand that to a point when it's up the line, but I more understand it when it's not, you know, a five foot away from the line. The 0-1. Sharp ground ball down the left field line. It's fair rolling into the corner. Chavez around second, Jenning for third. Gets the go ahead there. Here comes the relay. It's cut off. RBI double for Edwards. And it's 13 to 10 here in the bottom of the ninth. Norby swings, it's a ball on the ground right side. Edwards fields, flips to Amaya at second for one. Relay to first. One. Chopper up the middle behind second. Glove flip by the second baseman Edwards and the shortstop Amaya fires to first, not in time. Nearly a spectacular double play. Instead it's a fielder's choice four to six. Edwards glove flipping that ball to Amaya at second. He goes, fastball missing high and away, throw to second, skips into the glove of Norby covering the bag and Xavier Edwards dives in safely with a stolen base. He had a great jump, Rom very slow to the plate. 1-1, one, one. and Edwards swings, rips a line drive to center. Towser measuring it, it hops over him, he laid out. It's rolling towards the wall. Mangum will score easily from second. Throw comes in, another RBI double. This time it's for Xavier Edwards. And that makes it 7-2 Jacksonville. Hauser trying to play that one back. Xavier Edwards base hit right field. That'll drive home Wendell. Burdick's on his way to third base, and he'll get there. Two hits today for Xavier Edwards. Marlins have a 3 1 lead. You see this fastball was supposed to be up. Well, it was. X got it on top of it, hit to right field, and nice job by Peyton Burdick. He had to even stop and let that ball go by him, but the guards. Late in the ball game is when he's given up a few runs. Xavier Edwards getting the start. First major league start in center field, and that is a fair ball. Should be extra bases. Takes the turn and cruises into second with a double. Just poked it down that third base line right over the bag and into scoring position here in the third. Yeah, a little excuse me swing. You watch this little. Change up down and away just off the end of the bat. De La Cruz hit the same ball. It just went foul. There you go. That one gets over the bag. And Edwards can fly. So that was an easy double. Average over 300 on base over 400 in Triple A this year. And Segura the other way. That's down for a base hit. Edwards is coming in to score. Segura does it again. An RBI. And now a five game hit streak for Gene Segura. 2 nothing Marlins. Well, Williams is probably out there shaking his head. I make two good pitches and two excuse me hits. One down the third baseline for a double. And this was a jam. 
shot by Segura. You see where he hit it off the bat right around that label and he just pokes it to right field and with the speed of Edwards he scores easily from second. Garrett Cooper is swinging a miss. So Edwards getting into the mix. By the way just 11 games in center field in Jacksonville this year at AAA. But with Jazz out for the next month month and a half or so could be something of a revolving door Segura on the move throw down to second gets into center field of times you just can't miss it that 3 1 fastball that Fortes wound up fouling back that was the pitch that he that he needed to drill somewhere and he, and he wound up missing it. Xavier Edwards base hit right field that'll drive home Wendell Burdick's on his way to third base and he'll get there two hits today for Xavier Edwards. Marlins have a 3 1 lead. Now, just right there, first pitch fastball. He got one up in the zone. You see, this fastball was supposed to be up. Well, it was. X got it on top of it, hit to right field, and nice job by Peyton Burden. He had to even stop and let that ball go by him, but to go to first, from first to third. Number nine hitter Xavier Edwards ground ball base hit into right center field. One out knock for Edwards his third hit in seven at bat since coming back from triple A. So a little speed to flip the lineup card over. Good piece of hitting there by X 86 mile per hour a little two seamer change up away. And then right past Estrada. Single and a run scored back in the fifth for Edwards. Waits on the 3 2 pitch into left and drops it down for a base hit. That's a beautiful piece of hitting. Beautiful piece of hitting. Leadoff man aboard here in the seventh, the Miami Marlins student pass. A rough one last time out. That's a line drive. That's a base hit. That's an RBI for Edwards. Davis is in to score, and the Marlins have a 2 0 lead. They done bottom feeders. Yeah, they continue to get it done. They got it done in last night's game. And it's a ground ball. Could be tough to get two. That's one. And that's two. Got him. Just barely on a head first. Weekend sweep at the hands of the Texas Rangers, where they got beat up pretty good. But for the most part, Rod's right. They have been very good in May. That is a leadoff single for Xavier Edwards. So a good way to start the ninth inning for the Marlins. And with Judge today and a bouncer toward third. See if they can get two. They do. Braxton Garrett works around the lead. It's part of a double switch. Swinging a liner in the center field. That'll fall in a setter. Broken bat base hit for Edwards with two outs in the third. Pitch from Brigden. Line toward right. That'll drop it. Base hit. Pass second is LeBlanc. He's on his way to third. Carter is going to take a shot at him. And the throw just get away. He breaks for third. The pitch is missed. Throw goes to third. Way late. No shot there on Edwards. Double steal. That looked to be a straight steal of third by Edwards. But then Amaya recognized that Xavier was taking uh, off. Pose. And a ground ball hit down the third baseline softly. But finds room down the line. Beating Aranda. Edwards extra bases. Ball scooped in the corner by Meisner. And it's a double. For Xavier Edwards on what looked to be almost a slow motion grounder down the third base line. Well, they're playing off, not expecting Edwards to pull the ball this much, but he does. Massages that just inside the line, and he is off and running. And a leadoff double for the Jumbo. Teammates facing off with a gold medal on the line in the ninth inning. Unbelievable. Trout said that he saw Otani run down to the bullpen. It's a slow roller right side. Tough play. Glove to glove. And it'll be an infield single for Edwards. That's a great play right there. And that's how you have to beat Otani. As I said to you earlier, you're not going to hit lots of home runs against him. You're not going to beat him with lots of extra base hits. But you can do this. If you just put the ball in play, you give yourself a chance. And that's exactly what Edwards does. And he gets himself an infield single. But Trout was saying when he ran down to the bullpen in the WBC, Otani, he said he knew that he was running down there to face him. Switch hitter from the right side, leading off against the southpaw, 
Eric Lauer. Edwards at second, Charles LeBlanc, DH bad second. Jacob Amaya has been really hot. Shortstop hits third. Here are Encarnacion at first in the cleanup spot. First pitch for Lauer, bounced through the middle, and it's center, base hit. So Xavier Edwards, always aggressive, hits a first pitch fastball. And he's on first to make a couple weeks. 2-1, runner goes, pitch is swung on and missed. Throw to second, not in time. Xavier Edwards is quietly having a really good year stealing bases. That was his 10th steal and 11 tries. He's on second, nobody out. No score. Here in the bottom of the first, should say one out. And the count's two and two on Amaya. Lefty righty from Lauer. Lots of bubblegum. Leo won to Edwards, and he swings, rips a flare to left. That one is down for another base hit. And Xavier Edwards is three for three with three singles today. Sharp ground ball to third. Spear to his left by Groshans, goes to second one. Relay on the first double play. 1-0. Little looper, shallow left, shortstop to Vaney out. It lands over his head for a base hit. Mesa stops at second. It's a four hit day for Xavier Edwards. And then he'll bring up Charles LeBlanc. That is one off the career high and is a season high for Xavier Edwards. It's been great since getting optioned down here. He's seven for 13 and a play. Clean up spot. First pitch for Lauer, bounced through the middle and it's center, base hit. So Xavier Edwards always aggressive. Gets a first pitch fastball, and they're happy to be out of there. The Bulls come in in a couple weeks. 2-1, runner goes, pitch is swung on and missed. Throw to second, not in time. Xavier Edwards is quietly having a really good year stealing bases. That was his 10th steal and 11 tries. He's on second, nobody out. Leo won to Edwards, and he swings, rips a flare to left. That one is down for another base hit. And Xavier Edwards is three for three with three singles today. And they're on first two outs, 11 to four. Nashville here in the ninth, the 1-0. Little looper, shallow left, shortstop to Vaney out. It lands over his head for a base hit. Mesa stops at second. It's a four hit day for Xavier Edwards. A chance to tie the game potentially. And maybe take the lead if they can get some knocks together in the 0-1. And Edwards swings, hits it high in the air to right. If it's fair, it's gone, and Jacksonville has the lead. A two-run homer by Xavier Edwards down the right field line, and it's 3-2 to two in the bottom of the fifth inning. From one of the most unlikely bats, a two-run homer. And again, Jacksonville on top in a game that they really need. Three to two, and that'll bring up Brian Miller. Dante Harris and Tyler Naquin. Now the two-one from Lauer. Little flare, shallow left center, sinking quickly. It lands in for a base hit. So Xavier Edwards continues to be really hot since getting optioned down here. Lead off single and three. Edwards switch hitter from the right side and the pitch from Lauer. Bunted into no man's land, first base side, fielded by Dorian. Nobody is covering first. Infield bunt single for Edwards. Chavez moves up to second. And that one was put perfectly in between the mound, first base, and the second baseman, and Terang in second was just very... South Korea, the 2-1. Edwards swings, rips a line drive up the middle, through to center. LeBlanc will go to third. He had to go back to second just in case the ball was in the air. A two-strike pinch, and Edwards swings. It's a sharp grounder right side, and Taylor Moner's having a tough day at first. His second error, and the second time that it's Xavier Edwards causing the error. 
That ball was scorched on the ground today. The 0-1s bunt down the third base side. Bare hand pick up by Black. Throw to first, not in time. And Edwards beats it out for an infield single. He is so good at laying down bunts down the third base line. He's very sneaky. Breaking ball, come on and hit in the air to left center. That one is down. Around first, going to second, and now Edwards gonna put the brakes on. Chavez goes first to third. It's a single for Xavier Edwards. And now Jacob Amaya has a chance to reach base here in the bottom of the third. That's eight consecutive hits for Jacksonville. Two. Swing by Edwards, hot shot, pass to diving Robertson at second. That's out to right center. Pender, the center fielder, takes it on a roll and fires it in to second. And that's Mason Wynn. One out single for Edwards. And that'll bring up Jacob Amaya. Nice. The 0 1. Liner in the left, that's a base hit. Played in by Kaperniak, leadoff single for Edwards. Again, the lineup, Edwards, Miller, Myers. Here's the pitch, line in the center field, coming in, Pinder on the run, can't get there. It's a base. Neil Caracudo, the 2-0. High fly ball, deep to right. Newt Bar turns around, watches this baby go. Xavier Edwards into the bleachers in right. And the Jumbo Shrimp on the board here in the bottom of the first. So Edwards launching one about two thirds of the way up the stands. It's two to one and here's CJ Hinojosa. Memphis outfield left to right, Yepes, Kaperniak, and Newt Barr, so both teams. Pitch to Edwards, and Xavier swings, scorches a ground roll, back up the middle, and through to center field. Second hit for him, third hit for the Jumbo Shrimp, and that puts a man on with one out for C.J. Hinojosa. been with both St. Louis and Memphis as Edwards swings at the 1-1. A sinking line drive hit to left and that'll hop in front of Juan Yepes. A two out single keeps the inning alive. He's made six relief appearances for the Cardinals posting a 3.52 ERA. Three runs all earned in seven and two third innings. However hitters are batting. In pro sports, but accurate. Seven and two thirds, one run baseball. And here's one bounce to the right side. That's going to sneak by Vaughn Grissom. Around second, headed home is Jake Mangum. This will be an unearned run to the line of Alan Winans. Mangum reached on an error in this inning, but he does score to cut Gwinnett's lead to six to two. So a rude greeting for Brian Moran. He'll allow an inherited runner to score here. Again, some of the sting taken off on the fact that it is not earned for Winans. So his book officially closed now. And he's into his stance, into the wind goes Dodd, his first pitch of the day on the way. Swinging a ground ball out towards short. Diving stop there by Grissom, but as he rolls over into the outfield grass, no chance to pop. Taking off is Edwards. Throwing down a second is not going to be in time. And a head first dive into the bag at second for Edwards as he collects his 11th stolen base in 12 attempts this year. It was a swinging strike on Chisholm. Dodd set and throws. Edwards chops this left side. It gets under the glove 
of Yomar Sanchez kicks in a foul territory. McIntosh is already in to score. Moving up to third from first to Chavez and into second goes Xavier Edwards. This could be a pair, it will be a pair. Aguilar not moving well up the line. Pitch, line drive instead and going up to go get it, Xavier Edwards. Professor X climbing the ladder and the inning is over. Was the exclamation point. Loudest crack of the bat. Furthest the ball went. Now Magnary Sierra on the first pitch. Chops it over to Edwards. Edwards backing up from the collar of the outfield grass. Delivers one in the dirt. Curveball in the mid-70s. Here's the 3-1. Swinging a line drive at a base hit into left center field. Cutting it off in center. And here comes the throw to second base. He's going to try for the double, and he'll get it. Sliding in feet first safe. And was hit just far enough into the left center gap. Wall coming over to cut it off. And you can see the wheels turning in the head of Xavier. Goes. Pitch is low, thrown down to second, air mailed. A feet first slide, and the tag applied now. He thought the ball had gotten over his head. Xavier Edwards deked him out. What will they call that? Is that going to be a caught stealing? He made it in safely. It was popping up as he thought he was going to go to third base that he eventually got tagged out. I don't know that I've seen that before. Xavier Edwards, I don't know if he attempted to deke Wall or what there, but Wall thought that ball had been airmailed into center field. He popped up after time. And he'll line the first one over the head of Aguilar into right field. Are they going to send the runner? They will. Park will throw through. It is cut off. They had a chance at third, but it's juggled and dropped by Aguilar. Three straight, two out hits. And Jackson. Shadows cover the infield. Lopez works in the stretch, ready near the belt, the 1-0. Liner in the air to center, that'll get down for a base hit. So Xavier Edwards, a leadoff single, he's been so good leading off games so far this year for Jackson. 2-2, two -two. flipped in the air, shallow left, it'll dunk in for a base hit. Second hit for Edwards today. Third for Jacksonville, leadoff man on here in his scoreless sixth, and up comes Jacob Amat. 3-2, runner goes, pitches a cold strike, throw to second, is too high, and Edwards slides in safe. So Amaya strikes out looking, but Edwards steals his 14th base in 15 tries. He's in scoring position with one out of the scoreless game. And here's Dane Myers, who's 0 for 2. And then the Rays traded him back to the Mariners for Steve Cishek. Swing and a hard hopper hit left side. Edwards Field running through the first, across the diamond in time, and a good stretch by Dane Myers, and it keeps his foot on the bag for out number one. So that was hit down the third base line, a high hopper that went about next to the bat. That's where Edwards fielded it and threw on to first. He had to make a slide. Runner goes, pitches, cold strike, throw to second. Not in time, so Edwards steals the base. It's his 12th and 13th attempts this year. He's in scoring position, one out of the count, 0 and one on Myers, a high fastball there in the zone. 2-0, ground ball to third, Edwards to his left. Well, they're not the code of Hammurabi. The 0-2 pitch, Edwards swings, it's a high flare to shallow left center. That's down for a base hit. Left fielder Gamble charges in and plays it on a hop. Back-to-back -back singles for Jacksonville. 0-2. Flared behind second, and it dumps in for a base hit. So Edwards has his second hit. Lead off single in the sixth. Immaculate grid. Sorry, Scott. Plato. High fly ball into center. Edwards, the center fielder, in into his right, makes the call, camps on under it, makes the catch, side retired. But... A solo homer for the red. Kick straight over the top, bunted back towards the mound. Wiles bare hands, fires to first, and pulls Gamble off the bag. So Edwards, an infield bunt single. He is on to begin the bottom of the first. And up comes the shortstop, right-hand batting Jacob Amaya. Garrett Hampson, second baseman, hits third. Austin Allen doing the catching, hitting in the cleanup spot. Yerar Encarnacio, DH fifth. Jordan Groshans at first. 1-0 oh, oh, swing and a high fly ball hit to center by Meade. Edwards goes out, comes in, and makes a sliding catch. And there's out number three. That wind is going to be tough. It's gusting in for oh, one. Swing and a hard hit ground ball through the hole on the left side. That's out to left field. Edwards a turnaround first, and 
Still put on the brakes right American there. Independence, the 0 1. Swing by Edwards, little looping line drive, hit to center, coming in is Meisner. He dives and it's off his glove. Edwards a turnaround first, he's on his way to second. The throw goes past Basabe, and it's picked up by the pitcher Wiles in between the mound and third base, right on the infield grass. A two out double for Xavier Edwards. And that brings up Jacob Amaya, who's 0 for 2, he's been on base once via an error. Scott, you might find this interesting. Now yeah, the pitch to him, he puts a bunt down, third base side, picked up by Soleski, throw to first, throws it up the line. He threw it by Nate Bondu, and rounding third coming around as Amaya, here's the throw home, it's up the line. And gets away, but backed up by Soleski. So staying on second base is Edwards. So give that that bunt right there a base hit because he was going to beat the throw, but the throw is bad. That allowed the runner to move up and come around to score. So it's a base hit by Edwards. No RBI, but Amaya coming around to score to make it one nothing here in the first inning. Amaya's on second. Pitch is outside, runner goes, the throw is down the line. That'll be another throwing error in the inning. This one on the catcher, Rivero, and coming in to score is Edwards, and just like that, it's 2-0. That's given up two runs here in the first inning on a bunt single. So a stolen base, then E2 to allow the runner to come around. Edwards scores. So 2 nothing Jumbo Shrimp. Two outs, Third nobody. Baseman Sanchez is in on the grass. Here's a line drive. It took the glove off the hand of Soleski, and the throw by Sanchez gets away from Mondu. Everybody is safe and going to third is Amaya. That was an absolute rocket. Hit right back up the middle. Soleski got his glove on it, literally took the glove off his hand, and the ball kind of caromed towards the third baseman. Sanchez was able to pick it up, tried to throw to first base, but the throw got away from Mondu. And now it's first and third, nobody out. Pitcher. There goes the runner, swing and a miss, no throw, stolen base. Best record. Here's a swing and a line drive out to right field. Ray is going to his right, comes down on a hop. McIntosh scores. Mangum's going to come around. Two more runs come in. Singles and two doubles. Here he's going to hit a one hopper. No, it's just it's a liner to Edwards. Caught it before it hit the dirt. And that'll end the inning. Against him. Here's a base hit. That's up the middle into center field. Another hit for Edwards. That'll be his fourth hit today. So he's four for six, and it brings up Allen. Allen's hit a home run. Here's the 2 2. And there's a drive to left field. That ball's hit well by Edwards. It's going to fly out of the ballpark. Over the bleachers. And bouncing in the concourse below the scoreboard. And another home run hit by the Jumbo Shrimp. This is a two-run shot by Edwards. And here in the third, it's now 2-0 Jacksonville. Edwards hitting his third. Now Peyton Burdick is coming up. Burdick struck out in the first inning. Right-hander fires, next pitch, swinging a ground ball past the second baseman, Kian Wong. So that'll bring in the runner from third base, Hinojosa. And now it is four to one. So Edwards gets his second hit of the game, his third run batted in. The pitch, line drive, that's a hit out to left center. Hayes to go in to cut it off. Edwards, good speed, digging for two, and he beats the throw, standing up as a double. He's just a triple today, short of hitting for the cycle. Gets his third hit. And even though he made it out in the seventh inning, he reached on the fielder's choice. He's been on base every single time he's come up today. And now here's Peyton Burdick, who had a base hit in the seventh inning. Thank you very much. One of the top hitters in the league. Edwards, one of his 
protective, I guess, elbow guards fell off. So he's not being charged for a uh, pitch clock violation. Safety first, Mike. That's right. <laughs> Safety first. Is a bunt up the first base line. It gets past Davila. And that'll be an infield hit for the Speedy Edwards. That's exactly what Mangum was trying to do last inning. Push it past the pitcher yep. out near the second baseman, but he was playing far enough back that there was no play once he got it past Davila. Right, and Davila's motion is to come down towards the third base side, so if you push it between the edge of the pitcher's mound and two swing at a liner inside the bag at first base. That's a fair ball. Along the sidewall played back in by the right fielder Frazier quickly getting it back into the infield. So he holds Edwards to a single. One out single. Here's the pitch runner goes swing and a miss throw to second base is not in time. It's a stolen base. So Edwards swipes his 16th base of the season. Deals. Swing at a ground ball off his glove. It rolls to his right side. He has no play, and a run will score. It was a hard comebacker off his glove. It rolled to the third base side of the mound. He picked it up, but he had no play. A hard comebacker to the mound. And it should be an RBI single. He was in fielding position, but the ball you know, was hit hard right back at him. 52. Here's the pitch, and he sends one the other way. That'll be a hit, dumping it into right field. And he will settle for a single as Reyes fires it back in. Victor Reyes has a huge arm. And the one two swing and a bonding ball, left side of the infield, cut off by Sosa. One hops it to first, and not in time. Edwards put the safe sign out. He is safe at first. Infield single scores a run. And now we are tied here in the fourth inning. So an RBI, the 20. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Swing, ground ball to the first base side, taken by Mondu. Colome trying to get over and did not hang on to the ball. He was trying to race and get there before Edwards, and Edwards has got great speed. And he might have taken his eyes off the ball for a moment and give Edwards a base hit. It was not an easy play. No. And Edwards, he still might have beat him I think anyway. He beats it out, man. I, even if that's a cleaner 60 batting average, he's had a terrific series against the Knights, a single in this game. And, and it did a nice job on that at bat. We talked about it earlier. Fastball in, he kept his hands inside and drove it the other way with, with some authority. Just like that. And just gets it over the head of Nate Mondu. So that's going to bring Mangum around. Throw in from Frazier. It's going to be up the line. And a good fundamental by John by Park. John Park, and it's hit out to right center. That'll be a hit for Edwards. He'll take a turn and stop. It's played back in by Clint Frazier. So Edwards hitting 360 to lead the league coming into the game. He's now one for two in this game. And it brings up Peyton Burdick. Couldn't quite complete the throw. Xavier Edwards sends one to left center towards the gap. That's going to get down and go to the wall. On his way to third is Amaya. He'll come around. And the Jumbo Shrimp have taken the lead. It's now 8-7. to seven. Edwards does it again. His second run batted in tonight. Three hits. That's a double. Gives him 10 on the season. As his batting average is nearing 370 for the season. And one, Peralta's next pitch. Swung on, looped into left center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Edwards just continues his tour at pace of hitting. He's going to go try for second base. Throw is wide of the bag. Edwards hangs on after the tag from Solsa. So it's going to be a double. Single and a double for Edwards today. He also has a walk and scored on the Allen home run. So he's been pretty destructive. Also picking up his 20th. for Seleski. Runner goes for second base. Here's the throw on ball one. It's going to be 
off the bag caught by Gonzalez. Stolen base is the 20th for Edwards. And he now has seven stolen bases. Two one runner goes pitches a cold strike throw down to second is not in time. Edwards able to slide around the tag of Valdez, so he's in scoring position. Pitch looped in the air, shallow left. It'll drop in for a base hit. Xavier Edwards says at least reached base three times in each of his last seven games, at least three hits in six of them. He's 22 for his last. 35 of the plate that's a 629 average and a two out single here in the scoreless bottom of the first. And he's the reigning IL player of the week. Little roller hit towards third coming in Edwards. Field steps in the back for one, throws across the diamond to first. Double play. So Dolbeck really not running very hard down the line. And Edwards, an easy double play. Lindgren out of trouble here in the first. No runs, one hit. One left, middle of the first for scoreless. Jacksonville coming to bat next on the Jumbo Shrimp Network, powered by FIS. There goes Edwards. Ball misses downstairs and away. Throw to second is late. Another stolen bag for Jacksonville. Only 499, you said. Yeah. And maybe you can confront the Mad Monarch. Hira lines one towards second, gloved in a hop by Edwards, flips to second one, turned by Amaya, and they get a double play. With a runner. Justin swung on line to left. Hira there over toward the line, makes the catch. Mangum will tag from third and score. And it's a sack fly for Xavier Edwards, and the game is now tied three all. And a kick in the 0-2. Swung on, lined up the middle, a base hit into center. Edwards turns around a slider. Two out single for Xavier Edwards. Some quick outs. 2-2. Two -two. Line to left and a base hit over the reach of Luis Urias. And Edwards is on. And the other part of Xavier Edwards' game is the stolen base component. He is 24 out of 25 on the year. And we know the Sounds catchers are as good as anybody at throwing guys out. Alex Jackson this year throwing out close to 30. Here's the pitch by Wilson. Swung on, Yank left side of base hit. And Edwards has his second hit tonight. And again now there's preparation, I would think, for the cat, cat and mouse game with a two tickets to a Sounds game. Edwards runs, pitch, a strike, throw to second, not in time. Edwards got in there. His second steal of the night and his 26th of the year. Burdick. Took a strike, it's one and one. So Darren, especially if Allen pulls the ball, Edwards runs, the throw to second, and it's not in time. The pitch two. is out. Swung on, grounded right side, that's gonna be a base hit. Past the reach of Dorian, stopping at second is Amaya. Edwards with a single, two on, one down. Sounds trailing by a run here in the third, and Austin Allen now comes up. A good rehab inning for the Brewers. The pitch lined up the middle, a base hit into center for Edwards. Harrison will play it back in, and now you've got to keep a close eye on Edwards. He is 27 out of 28 this year in stolen bases. He's swayed. Runner goes, swing and a miss by Allen. Throw to second, and it gets into center. Getting up is Edwards. He's going to go to third. Harrison trying to throw there, and that is late. So now, not just a stolen base for Xavier Edwards. Here's the 1-0. Swung on, chopped to second. Glove by Dorian. Coming home on Edwards. The tag. Safe is the call. Safe at the plate. And Alex Jackson is saying no, no, no. Rick Sweet's coming out as well. Matt Bates, the home plate umpire, says safe. And Rick Sweet is out to argue. Boy, that was bang, bang at the plate. Dorian fired home. Rick trying to get Bukowskis and Jackson out of there so that he can talk to the home plate umpire. Edwards slid to the foul side of third 
Got tagged on the forearm area. Naquin hits a check swing bouncer right side of the mound. Charging from second is Edwards. He'll shovel with the glove and get Naquin. Edwards never Lost used her spot of Sal Freelich. And he hits a big chopper right side. The second baseman Edwards gloves in shallow right. Quick release, good throw, and got game, game right now. And his 3-2 pitch. Swung on, lined out to right. Naquin going back in the alley, and it's going to sail on Tyler and more over toward the gap than maybe he thought. Two runs will score, and Edwards has a triple. And his 1-2. Swung on, chopped right side. Gloved at second by Edwards. Goes back to second for one, and on to first double play. Wow, that was a remarkable double play turned by the Jumbo Shrimp. Edwards to his left, got it, spun around, gave Amaya a good feed, and then Amaya against the speedy Harrison, fired to first just in time, going across the bag with Urias sliding in. Boy, that was beautifully turned. Here's the pitch to Edwards, switch hitter from the right side, he lines with the left base hit. First base runner of the game for either side, Xavier Edwards, two out single here in the first. He's on. And Swing and a little flare hit to right center, going back as Edwards leaps and makes the catch. And the side is retired. Bolaños escapes some trouble. Line towards second, but right at Edwards, who snares it. Tom Device pinch the 1 0, swing by Edwards. High fly ball to right. Sierra back, it's out of here. Jacksonville answers back in the bottom of the third. Solo shot by Edwards, 326 feet away. And for the switch hitting infielder and outfielder from Coconut Creek, Florida, he blasts his fourth homer of the year. It's a two run deficit. Three to one in the bottom of the third. That ball left the bat. 90 miles per hour, so we got it up in the jet stream. Not all that hard, but Wynn might have taken that one well over the wall to right. It's 3-1. to 1-0. One. Oh, Edwards swings. That's a little flare to center. Coming in is Dean. He can't get there. And a host of motors around second. On to third. Throw is on line. Pitch. Bouncing ball through the middle. Base hit. So Jacksonville has life. Xavier Edwards with a single. Here's Jacob Amaya. Patrick Monteverdi and Alan Winans right now. No oh, swing by Grissom, liner right at second. Diving sprawl by Edwards from his knees. Got him at first and from shallow right field. A beautiful four to three play and has out number two on the board. Ball was stung at 94 miles per hour. It short hopped into the glove of Edwards who made a big reach and then went to a slide and spun over and from his knees made a great throw to first. Jacksonville lead, the pitch, runner goes. Liner towards right field. Edwards, the second baseman to his left, gathers on a hop, throws to first, shrimp win. So a soft line drive to right. Edwards went to his left. Gathered in shallow right, and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp edge the Gwinnett strike. Here's the first pitch. Edwards bunts it down the first baseline. Moran tries to barehand, and the ball slips off his fingers. And Edwards has a one out bunt single here in the sixth inning. So Moran going to the right of the mound to try to barehand that ball. If he gloved it, it would have been close. In the air. That one, a line drive into center, and that is a base hit. First base runner, first base hit for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp tonight. And Edwards, leadoff man in the order, leads off the fourth inning on base. Forcing fastball off the end of the bat, deposited into center field. Rounds one right side into right. That brings home another scoring and at least attempting to score from second is McIntosh. He will a two run two out single for Edwards. He now has driven in 34 this year and it's 9 3. It's 
First and third for Jacob Amaya. Edwards now two for three with two driven in. Roshans from third and McIntosh in from second. That's into center and he has three driven in. Hangham trying to go first to third, throw into third. Karakuto uh, catches the throw as it's offline. It's 17 to four. Runners still at the corners with two outs. Tenth hit for the Jumbo Shrimp tonight. That's on the ground. Another one toward third. Edwards, another sidearm toss. Three straight outs on the ground to Xavier to end the inning. Baker leads off with a walk, but is stranded in scoring position. No score after two here at AutoZone Point. Technology field entirely covered by shadows. That's bounced to third. Edwards will check on Baker. Sidearm throw to first and back to back outs on the ground to the third baseman. Taps that one slowly toward third. Edwards looks at second, but instead throws to first. That's on the ground off the glove of Thomas, and had he let that go through, may have been playable for Nick Dunn. Instead, it's a base hit. And the inning continues now with two on and two on for Jacksonville. Their cleanup batter to the plate. That's just the instincts of a pitcher there. Going to try to knock things down or get a glove on stuff back at you. Pitch coming in. That slap toward third. Another chance for Edwards. Quick footwork to get the out. Just barely gets Palacio. That's a base hit out the left. Hit pretty hard, but they're going to send home McIntosh. Throw from Gomez is up the line. And a two-out RBI single from Xavier Edwards brings home the game's first run. Jacksonville takes a 1-0 lead here in the fifth. Edwards found a way to barrel that up. A change up on the outer half. Memphis had the pull shift on. And a run comes in to score. That's on the ground toward third. It's deep to the third baseman, Edwards. But Mason Wynn oh, has plenty of power. Scolds that on the ground. Plenty of chances tonight for Edwards. Here's another one, and it's the first down. Second time, yep. That's it hard on the ground again to Edwards. How about eight infield assists? Two down. That's on the ground. Nick Dunn backhand throws fades away. Good scoop by Baker, but it's late. Xavier Edwards have a day. Three for four aboard for the fourth time. Squares around a bunt, gets it down. Grisefo bare hands, throws to first. Not going to be in time. Edwards completely beat that one out. Third base. That one is lifted out toward left. It's hit pretty well. Pinder is back, and it's by him and off the wall. That'll be picked up by the center fielder, Palacios, and will be an RBI double for Xavier Edwards. And it's 1-0 Jacksonville. Tossed the cutter, and it was crushed out to left center field off the wall. Jacksonville, a team that scored four runs at the top of the first inning last night, has already brought home a run here on Friday. Much better year that year. That is grounded hard, but to the third baseman, Edwards. Throws across the diamond. For double brought home the game's lone run, and he singles to the opposite way. A 50 hop ground ball. Fourth base hit for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp tonight. Lead off runner on base. Two two. That shot down the left field line, but caught by Edwards. Couldn't even get to the left field line. 105 off the bat, but an inning enders. We end to the fourth. It's one nothing after three. For two. Double and a single, make it three for three. Edwards sprinting around first will go to second as it's bobbled by Gomez and is into second with two bases. Likely a single with a fielding error on Moises. We'll see officially how they score it, but 
A tremendous day and tremendous series for Xavier Edwards continues. He has three hits tonight. He's kind of bounced up on Gomez. And a ground down to first out of the four hole. Edwards going to take third. A great jump off Cloughton's team. Off right. 2 2 from Hulling. That's a little tapper. Tough play. Edwards, bare hand throw. Just held the bag. What a stretch from Johnston. There are two down. After the bats were highlighted on Tuesday and last night, it's the defense getting the highlights on this Friday night. Redbirds have. That's on the ground toward third. Xavier Edwards sidearm throw one down. It is 0 for 3. That one's chopped toward third. Another chance for Edwards, and he converts on that opportunity as well. Rather ready for play. Ground ball back to Sem. Kicks back and have to make a phenomenal play to get the out. The smart lead does not throw to first, and it's a leadoff base hit for Xavier Edwards. That's a jam shot, little flare just above the leap of Mason Wynn, and it'll bring a run home. Palacios bobbles the baseball, and Miller will go to third. RBI single for Xavier Edwards, his tremendous series and season continues to roll on. He gives Jacksonville the lead right back with a single here in the six game series. Xavier Edwards, two for two, two singles, crushes that one deep right center field. Sprinting back and watching it go is Kapertiak. Xavier Edwards has three hits and now a home run here on this Saturday night, his fifth home run of the season, and it is 7 1 Jacksonville. Xavier Edwards is destroying the baseball in this series. Every single game he has had three base hits. He's played all five games for the Jumbo Shrimp. Zone Park. That's on the ground and through the glove of Luke and Baker. Four for four for Edwards. He's going to try to turn it into a double throw in from Kaperniak. 2-1. On the ground right side, Prieto can't get there. Five hits tonight for Xavier Edwards. Four singles and the home run. Two, two. Kramer dives, gets up, and throw is going to be late. Six for six. Xavier Edwards, five singles and a home run. Has six of the 19 knocks for the Jumbo Shrimp. Shortstop number one, Garrett Hampson. And he singles in front of Garrett Hampson. He's got three hits of his own tonight. Six hits in one game. That's a sword. Two to Edwards, breaking ball. That one's bounced up the middle. Another chance for win and took a wicked hop. And should be ruled a base hit. And Edwards continues his tear in this series in Memphis. This is his 48th game since being optioned on May 30th from Miami. He's now 83 for 207 at the plate. Right near a 400 average. In that span, seven doubles, a triple, five homers. On the ground towards second, Edwards in, now back, sidearm throw in time and two down. There's 3-2. That one in the air, it's hit well, Kaperniak sprinting back. He's at the wall and that ball is gone. Xavier Edwards might want to think about moving to Memphis. He is crushing this baseball. Reach base safely in nine plate appearances, has hits in seven in a row. His sixth home run this season, and he gives the Jumbo Shrimp the lead right back. It's 3-2. Yeah, that 
of a battle with a 3-2 count on the ninth pitch of the plate appearance. Has another home run in this. That's on the ground. Chance for Tool. Throws to second. Edwards on to first. A 5-4-3 inning ending double play. Jacksonville, the 0-2. Edwards swings. It's a high soft flare to shallow center. Cameron coming in. He can't get there. It's in front of Norby. So it splits the two defenders, and Xavier Edwards has loaded the pitch to Edwards. Swing and a line drive hit to left, right center. That's down for a base hit. Scoring from third is Conine behind him, McIntosh, a two-run single for Xavier Edwards. It's 5-0 Jacksonville on the fourth. Mangum goes first to third. And Jacksonville's landed one big punch against Norfolk. Looking for more. And now it's Garrett Hampson. Pitch from Stallings. There goes Edwards. Pitch is called a strike. And the throw is offline and late. And Edwards dives in. Second stolen base for Jacksonville. They've got runners on second and third now. And nobody out in the bottom of the fourth. And this is big, Scott, with runners in scoring position or even with runners on. Jacksonville. The 2-0. Little flare, shallow right. It'll plop in for a base hit. Chavez around second, moves up to third. And there's runners on the corners with two outs for Garrett Hampson. So Edwards kind of plopping one in front of Aaron Hicks. We couldn't find it for a little bit. The Sun is blazing out there at right field. It sets me on. Good one down the third base line. Backhand stop and a throw. It gets under the glove of Perstad down the right field line. You're all around third now, heading for the plate. There won't be a throw, and it's the third. Two one, swing by Edwards. Line drive hit to center. That's down for a base hit. Chavez holds up at second. Now there's two men on for Jacksonville. And Jumbo Shrimp just keeps swinging away. And that's the difference on the scoreboard right now. McFarland comes in. First pitch temperature, 81 degrees. 1-0 from Nelson. And Edwards slaps it out towards deep left. Muziali was playing shallow. That's over. His end one hops off the wall. Actually, Karam's up and out. Oh, no, they say it stayed in play. Muziali plays it back in. It's a leadoff double for Xavier Edwards. The hitting machine, Xavier Edwards, came into the day hitting 364. Was over five last night. Bound to get a base hit here today, and he does so in his first plate appearance. He's at second for Garrett Hampson now. Nelson making his 14th start of the year with the Iron Peaks. Carrying a ground ball towards the hole that's short. On the back end, Edwards has it. Pops up from a slide for the throw to first off target. And Kingery had it beat anyways. So it's an infield single for Scott Kingery, but a heck of a play by Xavier Edwards. We said we'd mention it once this game got going, but Edwards dominantly a second baseman this year. Gets the start for the first time this year at short. That was a really nice play, but with Kingery's speed, he legs it out. First the pitch. Marshawn a chopper out towards second. The third hop, Hampson has it, turns to second one. Relay on to first in time. Four, six, three, double. That's from the left side. The pitch. He lines it out towards right. That's in for a base hit on one hop. Stevenson has it. LeBlanc gets the stop sign at third. Hall cuts it off. And it's first and third with one out for the second straight inning for the Jumbo Shrimp. Third, the pitch. And Edwards pops it in the air, deep right field. Stevenson going back, looking up at the wall, and it's gone. A leadoff homer for Xavier Edwards as he barrels one up out to deep right. 375 just over the wall. Bangs off the walkway out there, hitting the metal bars. And Edwards, his seventh homer of the season, begins the game with a bang. It's 1 0 Jacksonville, the batter in. Anderson was tagged for a solo homer 
during his last start against Roger. Yes. Garcia rolled on the ground, back of the bag at third. Edwards has it, goes to second one, turn on to first in time. And just like that, Jumbo Shrimp. 3-1, line drive up the middle into center, base in. Edwards got jammed a little. Been able to muscle it up, landed on the grass for a base knock. Chicago White Sox, who was on the 40-man early and then was designated for assignment. Here's a soft looper into shallow right field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Johnny Rodriguez stabs it on one hop. That'll load the bases. Swings at the first pitch and skies it to shallow left. That's going to be tough. Noel racing in, and it's going to fall into fair territory. And Edwards joins the hit parade. Comes home to him. He shows bunt and gets it right back over top of the mound. Delgado going to bare hand, but he can't make the play. Well, I'm sure that's not what Xavier Edwards was trying to do right there, but he popped it over the head of pitcher Chris Valamont, and it got down between the mound and second base. Took a high hop off the dirt right in front of the plate and got over the head of Valamont. So call it a bunt single for Xavier Edwards. And he's at first base for Dane Myers. Now this might not be a bad time to put Edwards in motion. He's stolen 31 bags and 35 tries this season. Goes the runner from first base. Breaking ball lands in for strike two. No throw to second. So Edwards is now into score. Back to it now, the 1-0 pitch. And that's a ground ball right side. Long run for Delgado. Lays out, but he can't get to it. And so Edwards is aboard. Dane Myers, two for four so far today with a homer, will stand in. You know, for Edwards, the way these things typically go, the next thing that would have happened. 170 players in the International League this year with at least 100 plate appearances. Xavier Edwards has the second lowest swinging strike rate. So when he swings, he only misses 4.3% of the time. 1-0, rocketed up the middle. That's a base hit. LeBlanc stops in second, and Xavier Edwards is on. And he's making solid contact just like that. He missed on one, 97 off the bat. First and second one out. Shrimp by a run. Here's Jacob Amaya. Like you said, he only misses 4.3% of the time. That was the 96%. Rocket back up the middle. Again. Second lowest of more than 370 players. And that's how special that is. The Marlins have seen the value of putting the ball in play this year with Luis Arise. They've got another similar guy here in AAA. Pitch to Amaya. Give it up, Sonny, Sonny, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Hotter bats in there is what Skip Schumacher is trying to do. Kind of like that. Base hit for Edwards into right field. He takes a turn and he's heading for second base and he'll get there with a hustle double. Busting it out of the box and into scoring position with one out. Really nice AB by Edwards. Gets an elevated fastball and we talked about it. Williams likes to throw that pitch up, but boy, how he gets his hands close and tight to his body to pull that to the right field line. What I love, no hesitation, going all the way. Thomas actually kind of bobbles that ball in his hand, giving enough time for Edwards to get to second, but it was that no hesitation, double right off of the bat. He's going, trying to get himself into scoring position. And that's over the glove of Dominic Smith. Edwards going to go digging for two here. Lane Thomas going to be a little late thinking two out of the box of getting out of the way of that ball so it would deflect out to Lane Thomas 
And that's an infield hit all the way. Edward. Walk, walk, fly out, three run shot. And a fly out, a home run, and a ground ball to the right side that Lynn didn't get over. Nolda. Oh. And Castellanos will turn, and that one's going to bang off the top of the wall. It just stays in play. And almost back to back solo homers for Miami. Outing. There's a line drive base hit left field. Cut off by Canna, and Edwards has to settle for a single. But a two out knock for Edwards. That was an outstanding at bat. And if everybody watches what Edwards just did there, watch how he just shortens his swing. He's not going to over swing. He's just going to make contact, try to put the ball in play. The ball was up and away. And that's exactly where he took it. He just took it away. That was an outstanding at bat. Now you have a chance to get on second with his speed. He's able to steal. These last few days. And maybe that's why. Base hit, left field. Here comes Sanchez around third. No play at the plate. Edwards out at second. But the run scores, and the Marlins break through. So they catch a break on the foul ball and the extra base and then score on the Edwards RBI. One nothing. Long hold for Lucchese. Ah, beautiful. Drops it down. Lucchese's got it, but he throws to third and nobody's home. John Birdie's going to score it now. They get Fortes at third base. Well, the wheel play was not on. And a beautiful bunt. Great execution by Xavier Edwards. Here comes Mauricio. For whatever reason, Lucchese stands up and throws to an empty. Edwards, who has nine hits in his last 17 games, and he scored seven runs in that stretch. And he, of course, gets the start here today. Lashes another one foul. And this was before the game. Edwards part of uh, a few of those minor league award winners. After a terrific minor league season for X. Yeah nice season 351 batting average stole 32 bases. North Broward prep. So he's seen a little bit of the Marlins over the years. Two balls, two strikes, and that one down and in. There's a base hit in the left field. Takes it the other way for a two out knock. Probably got a few of those at North Broward Prep. <laughs> Especially you get that fastball. You know, a lot of times when you're a hitter who's, you know, not maybe as much of a threat to long ball, you're batting in the number nine spot. You got a pretty good idea you're going to get that fastball 3 2. Plus, you have Jorge Soler on deck. So he was ready for that fastball and had a good spot swing. in the lineup. Edwards goes. Contreras with the throw from the knee. And a little bit late. Stolen base for Edwards to get into scoring position with two outs. Yeah, we told you about the 32 steals he had at Jacksonville and Triple A. Got a good jump here. Didn't waste any time. Gets himself in scoring position early for Solaire. Second one at the big league level. Leads away from second. Runner goes from first. Pitches inside. No throw. That should be a steal for Edwards. Eighth inning. Trying to hang on and win a series against these Brewers. And the center for a base hit. I don't care what league you're in. That's how you hit 350 in the AAA league with Jacksonville. Been a nice day. It's his third base hit. Getting the last minute call to fill in at second base with Luis Arias out of the lineup. And Xavier Edwards has come through with three base hits and a stolen base today. And the center for a base hit. I don't care what league you're in. That's how you hit 350 in the AAA league with Jacksonville. Been a nice day. It's his third base hit. Getting the last minute call to fill in at second base. With that one out toward left center field and a base hit for Edwards. And we just. 
Now word from FPL. As Xavier Edwards is a pinch hitter against Gregory Soto. Boy, Scott stuff was as advertised, and you wondered maybe pull the pull the trigger on him a little earlier in this game. Back up the middle, and that's going to be a hit. So Xavier Edwards starts off this ninth inning with a single. Welcome to the postseason. Never forget that first at bat in the postseason. Xavier Edwards. The shutout is over, and the Marlins get on the board here with two outs in the ninth. Bell delivers. Tell you what, he showed up.